My name is Dr. Richard Allen Williams. I'm a cardiologist and I'm on the faculty at UCLA School of Medicine where I've been for 45 years. I uh, want to take you back to the year 1982 when I received a call from LA Police Chief Darrell Gates, which surprised me. Chief Gates was a very forceful and aggressive police chief. He actually established what one might think of as a militarized police department. So on weekends in particular, he would send 500 or 1,000 people into specific sites of LA and the police would simply descend upon these people who were out in the street at night and start mass arrests, bring them in, and uh, lock them up. Aggressive doesn't mean the use of force. Aggressive means that we move into crime situations and deal with them. I don't know where he got my number from, but in any event, he said, I'd like to discuss a very delicate medical matter with you. Chief Gates asked me if I could verify the fact, or according to him, the fact that uh, African Americans uh, were very susceptible to chokeholds because they had an anatomical defect in their necks. And so he was suggesting that blacks were not normal in regards to their neck anatomy and that therefore it was their fault that they were dying, not the fault of the police. And he wanted to know if I would agree with him. And I told him, no, Chief Gates, I don't agree with that. I think that this is something that uh, cannot defend. Uh, the real reason is that there were more chokeholds being applied to blacks. Over a period of a few months, 16 men who were taken into police custody died from chokeholds, and 12 of those were African American or black. There was a good deal of controversy in the city about this at that time. Well, there actually were two chokeholds. There was one that was called the bar hold, and then there was the carotid chokehold, which reduced the blood flow to the brain and caused the individual to pass out and die. And when these holds are applied properly, it is our feeling that they are not life-threatening holds. Ultimately, the L.A. Police Commission decided to eliminate all chokeholds in the city of Los Angeles. And that's where it is today. In California, there's an assembly bill which is, is pending right now. If that passes then and is signed, then the chokehold will no longer exist throughout California. But that's just one state. George Floyd died from a chokehold with a knee to his neck from the police. And there was also the case of Eric Garner in New York City in 2014, where the chokehold was applied. We are able to see racism live and up close, and this should propel us to do something definitive at, at this point, finally, to eradicate that. I think el elimination of the chokehold is the first step in that process.